Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called exponents and signed fractions. We're asked to evaluate these two fractions and each one of them has a negative sign that's involved. So starting with the first one, I'm going to rewrite that over here that is negative 3 fourths raised to the third power. And it's important to notice the parentheses and where this negative sign is. Since we have the parentheses, that means that only the 3 fourths inside of the parentheses is the part being raised to the third power. So just the part on the inside is being raised to the third power. I'm going to rewrite the problem below and expand it to show that it is actually negative 3 fourths times 3 fourths times 3 fourths. And again it's important that the negative is on the outside. If the negative were on the inside then each one of these parentheses I would have to have a negative 3 fourths inside. But since it's on the outside ultimately it's just going to get carried down as we do our multiplication. And multiplying fractions we know that we can just multiply the numerators. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 multiply the denominators 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 and thus far we've just been multiplying the fractions but as I mentioned earlier that negative is still on the outside so we want to bring it down one more time you could think of that as a negative 1 times 27 over 64 and so our final solution or simplified version is negative 27 over 64 looking at the second problem we don't have parentheses so I'm just going to write the 5 squared in the numerator as 5 times 5 and then in the denominator I'm just going to bring down the negative 4 so simplifying the numerator 5 times 5 is 25 and we still have that negative 4 in the denominator so just to leave this as a fraction if we had a 25 or a positive 25 and it were being divided by a negative 4. When we divide and the signs are different our answer would be negative. So this is negative 25 fourths. Really just moving the negative out in front. 